Well, people might say this is a this is a really bizarre way to look at it, but I'm I'm very glad this week is happening and in the way it is because it gives me a great opportunity to do videos uh, where I showcase a week where things are maybe not going to plan at all. Uh, so I chatted on Monday about how being a slow start of the week, pretty unproductive. And I suppose the main theme of the, the conversation on Monday was, let's make sure it doesn't happen for uh, too many days in a row. I'm not saying that has happened, but what I would say is that I think two things occurred yesterday, which are uh, maybe a bit of a, 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 a bit of an idea or an insight as to maybe what can go wrong for me whenever I get into a little bit of a rut with things. So, and again, I, I've spoken about this in the context of if that happens to you when you're in a in a role in a bigger business, I'm not saying you, it doesn't really change much. I mean, you still don't get the work done, but you kind of get away with it a bit more because, you know, maybe there are other people doing other things that have to happen before yours is completed, so to speak, or whatever. Anyway, um, but as a business owner, it's it's tough to really... I mean, if you're not doing anything, nothing is happening. Um, so, really, yesterday was yesterday was frustrating again for different reasons. So, <clears throat> on Monday, I said, I mean, I did do it. I planned out Tuesday fairly conservatively. I was like, right, slow day Monday. That's not over over um, overstretch myself on Tuesday. But it got to Tuesday morning and I, I just felt this kind of stress or strain and I was like, I have to catch up. I have to make up for yesterday. <coughs> and it's something that I'm aware of. I have a tendency for that to, to let that happen. But halfway through the afternoon, yeah, I was getting further behind because I was overthinking things. I, I was worrying about a lack of progress. I was getting frustrated by things outside of my control. So business-wise, it was a really challenging half day, so to speak. Uh, what I was happy with was that I would let that, in the past, I've let this type of thing compound. So I would let it go on and on. But yesterday, I just kind of said, look, this is crazy. There's basically one more thing you need to do today. You just have to do it well. There were a lot of outside of business things in my life I had to do, not a lot, but there were some more important business thing, non-business things, sorry, uh, that I had to do yesterday that had to take priority and they always will. So they were, the, they were in the calendar as the key things. And I'll be really honest, as much as these videos are important to me, and they are, I mean, I've done whatever 38 of them now, whatever the number is, I would like to think that it's, showcasing that I am taking this quite, I suppose, seriously, for lack of a better word, but I'm not really taking it seriously, if you know what I mean. It's, it's as I said at the start, it's a hobby. It's something I enjoy doing. I can see the benefit business-wise, potentially, or I have seen the business benefit already because some people have, you know, reached out to me because of these videos, but it's not the core, it's not my core lead generating um, medium for the business, and I, I, it won't be. It's very much something that is like a supplement to what I'm doing with Flex Ops. So that's a long way of saying I decided that I'm just not doing a video yesterday, you know? I, I, I didn't do that much work. I really didn't feel in a great place to do it. And to be really honest, I just didn't have the time. I didn't have the 15 minutes to, to I mean, there'll be someone on the internet that says you, you had 15 minutes and they might be right, but I just didn't, I didn't have the, uh, didn't have it in me to do the video and I'm, that's fine you know it's 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 not a problem whatsoever so that's it we're here today doing a video <laughs> and I suspect I'll do a couple more this week as as usual but that's really a, an update where I'm at with things I can hear it in my own voice you know there is a bit of disappointment so to speak but again it's only it's Wednesday morning. All that has happened this week is that I'm like a few, three, four, five hours off pace where I'd like to be. And if I can't accept that as an owner, then I'm not going to get very far because that happens all the time. Um, and if I speak to any of my clients, 
if I speak to anyone who's a potential client, they have weeks like this all the time. Business owners, agency owners, it doesn't matter. You're going to have moments or weeks or months where things slow down or things are frustrating or things don't go to plan. And it is really more about how you handle that situation. <clears throat> and as I said on Monday, it's, it's, you're only as good as your worst day. These are not my worst days. These are just not so good days or like mediocre days. <laughs> so I have to be mindful that if I can't, you know, approach these types of days with a, a more positive kind of outlook or, or find ways to overcome these maybe minor obstacles that prevent me from having the perfect day, which is also something I mentioned yesterday or on Monday, sorry. Um, then it's going to be tough for me going forward, but it's not all doom and gloom. Um, it's not doom and gloom whatsoever, actually. It, this is just it. Like this is it in a nutshell. Like if if someone was if someone came onto this this YouTube channel and for whatever reason picked this video to watch, well, they probably would because it's the most recent video. But if they watched it and they're thinking, oh, I'd love to set up my own business, the main thing I'd say to them would be that honestly, I think this is what makes it. This is what makes it really difficult for people is that you just, it's the consistency of it, right? But it's also the acceptance that even when you're doing everything as well as you can, you just have these days and, and maybe weeks where it's really frustrating because you just feel like you're not doing everything you can. And yeah, it's, it's how you deal with that, I suppose. And then again, you know, it's how you, it's like, Again, I'll, I'll use a, a sport analogy or for a second, you know, think of golf. Like if you have a bad hole in golf, as they say, you know, what you want to do is really have a, a bounce back. So the next hole, just minimize the mistakes or, you know, try and get a good score. You know, if you're playing like a game like rugby or soccer or, or whatever it might be, where there's like teams scoring goals or points against each other. I mean, if you concede, your first reaction is almost always to panic and be like, oh, we need to get another point. But in reality, all you do is just put a few faces together or put a few passes together and just, you know, get yourself back into the swing of playing. You don't immediately need to score 30 seconds after someone else scores against you. And if anything, taking that attitude uh, will probably have consequences like conceding again. And if you think about that in the context of yesterday, for me, I had a bad first day in my eyes, but even calling it a bad day is probably something I need to work on because it was just a day. Uh, but I had a bad day and then I immediately wanted a reaction. You know, I immediately wanted to get the goal back on Tuesday and it actually went the other way. So I'm kind of like, I feel like I'm 2 nil down <laughs> and it's Wednesday, but anyway. It's a bit of, it's a, it's a, you know, it's per, I spend a lot of my time listening to other business owners, specifically agency owners, and I give them space to talk about this type of thing. So honestly, me doing these videos is almost like part of the process that I go through the people I work with. So I am giving myself time to air these thoughts or get this stuff off my chest or or even more importantly try and articulate it to myself about what happened and, and maybe even why and monday was helpful already this is this is helpful for me doing this today so you know the that 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 that, that thing i read at the weekend has or listened to after on the podcast has really stuck with me because it's again I'm now stressed to an extent because I've tried to have too much, I'm now overcompensating for a less than perfect day and I'm now trying to make things perfect again and it's it's something that I don't think I've ever tried, to, I don't think I've ever to date this with this business fallen into this kind of trap because um, perfect doesn't exist. Uh, you can have exceptional days, you can have phenomenal performance etc and you can be really consistent but there's no such thing as perfection and I'm, I feel like I'm currently chasing it for some reason, which is, which is interesting. I, I suspect part of this also stems from what I recently spoke about, which was that subconsciously there's probably a, 
a layer of disappointment that maybe you haven't won as many clients as you suspected by this point in the year. Again, as I spoke about previously with the pipeline, etc., it's really healthy. Like it's going in the right direction. So wherever the clients come tomorrow or in two months' time, I'd anticipate that they're coming. But your natural, I suppose, your natural inclination is to always want that thing sooner, right? And maybe for me, there's a layer of impatience. It comes back to the the impatience and the laziness again. Certainly not being lazy at the moment, but I'm probably being impatient and, you know, I'm having to really just knuckle down and, and focus in on maybe doing one or two key things a day as opposed to maybe doing one or two key things plus moving the needle on three, four, five smaller things as well. So anyway, that was a very long winded update on where I'm at in general, definitely longer than usual. I suppose uh, beyond that, what's coming up for me today, I... <laughs> A funny one in relation to this is a good example for something as well so my main platform at the moment is linkedin and i put probably between no less than i, I do a post a minimum a week but i generally don't do more than three and this week i thought it would be interesting to try and do a bit more now obviously it didn't play out which is another reason why i may be uh, frustrated but I did a video yesterday on a topic that I'm pretty passionate about that comes up all the time with agency owners and what was really, <laughs> again, kind of plays into the whole idea of just little little things niggling at me was, it was a 14, 15 minute video and if the right person watches that, I know they'll take value from it, but it just seemed, seemingly didn't really reach many people. I'm not sure why, I'm sure someone who knows LinkedIn better than I do could explain why maybe it's the long form video that LinkedIn doesn't like, maybe the topic itself wasn't that interesting, but uh, anyway, it didn't seem to land and that's okay, it doesn't matter, I've, I've shared something valuable and someone will see it eventually, but that was just one more thing from yesterday uh, that was kind of a bit, ah, a bit disheartening. I just wanted to try something a bit different that I thought was more suitable given the format or the topic, but anyway. This is all good and well, but I am going to, yeah, I'm going to get my head down and do the key thing I've said to myself for today, which is literally written right there. I know what it is. It will be done. And the bonus, like I'm now viewing this as almost like a bonus for the week. If I can do one or two of the things that I was due to do already by this stage, perfect. It's like an, it's like a, an add on. They're not like a, a thing that I expect myself to have be playing catch up on and, and make sure I've ticked all the boxes. So we'll see how today goes. I feel a bit better between the ears uh, in terms of where I'm at with things, accepting for the fact that this is just it. I've elected to do this thing, you know, which is run your own business and I have to accept that whenever I have like a day like Monday and Tuesday, things will be slower. It will feel frustrating to me. That is what it is, really. And uh, it's not too dissimilar to, to what I hear from other agency owners and what I, I suppose, encourage them to, to think about whenever they're having a tough week. So that is it. Any other thoughts from Ross today? I don't think so. It's kind of a short week as well, just to give you not too much going on tomorrow. I've got a client session in the afternoon and then Friday morning I've got a session but then it's kind of like a half day on Friday for me. So Friday's video will be very short, I would imagine, unless there's a specific topic I want to, to talk about. I might do more of my, I think we're in like part four or part five of my story. So I might do some of that this week. And yeah, beyond that, I think we're good. So, okay, gonna go and do some work.